NASCAR president Steve Phelps sat down with Chris Myers on the Daytona 500 pre-race coverage, which aired on Sunday. Obviously, the race didn't happen until Monday, and he dropped a lot of major hints on where NASCAR could be going in 2025. Whether that's, you know, to both borders, maybe they're going north, maybe they're going south. He also said that the series will be back in Southern California in 2025, which to me, that might be the most surprising news out of all of this. Of course, it aired on Sunday. If you follow me on TikTok, you've already heard all of this, but we're going to go into it a little bit more and where I'd like to see them race at here. Uh, but for the most part, it was pretty interesting to hear what he had to say. And I would have recorded this video earlier, but the courtyard by Marriott that I was in while having great lighting. I didn't have my camera stuff with me. It was awkward and I just didn't really want to sit around and do it. So you're getting in on a Wednesday. Steve Phelps said he would be shocked if the series does not head both north and south of the border in 2025, meaning that NASCAR is going to Canada and NASCAR is going to Mexico, two places I think they absolutely need to go. And I know a lot of people will complain saying that this is an American sport. You're taking races away from America, blah, 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 blah. Listen, there's 38 races, 36 points paying races, two exhibition races in America. We go down to just 34 races in America. Uh, who cares? We'll be perfectly fine. Honestly, I think the clash is one of those races that's going to end up in Mexico, not a points paying race. But I do think a points paying race will end up in Canada. So let's talk about Canada real quick. Hello there. Oh, hang on a second. Had to put on part of my Canadian tuxedo right here if we're going to talk about our friends up north. Hopefully when NASCAR does go to Canada, Leroy and Leroy, they're always something to do, will be there for the race. Be absolutely phenomenal if they're able to make it. But while we're talking about Canada, you have to put your denim on. I'm here. I don't have the jacket. Lay off. We're going to figure it out eventually. But NASCAR, of course, tried to go to Canada in 2024, racing in Montreal, which, of course, they raced the Xfinity Series there for a number of years. Couldn't get a deal done, so they went ahead and pivoted and went to Iowa, which is like Canada of the Midwest. So instead of going there, we're going to Iowa. That's fine. But if we can't go to Montreal in 2025, maybe they go to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, which is where the Cup Truck Series truck series has raced at uh, for a number of years before, you know, leaving their before the lockdown happened, but it did give us some pretty memorable finishes. Of course, it gave us the Cole Custer, John Hunter Nemechek fight. It gave us Chase Elliott dumping Ty Dillon in the last corner. It's not a bad racetrack by any means. Great elevation changes, great opportunities for some bump and runs at multiple points on that circuit. Does it have the infrastructure to have a Cup Series race? I'm not 100% sold on that yet. It could, maybe, it's an option. Personally, I would love to see them go to Quebec in the iCar circuit. It's basically a street course crammed into this just gigantic piece of concrete, this big concrete rectangle. And it's tight. It's going to be a lot of bumping and banging, and it would be highly entertaining. They'll never go there. It doesn't have the infrastructure. It doesn't have the grandstands. It doesn't have anything like that. But it would be pretty cool to see it. The Canadian Tire, sorry, the NASCAR Penty Series does race there, uh, or used to race there, rather. They do not race there anymore. But there are a number of ovals as well that they could potentially explore going to. There's one in Nova Scotia. It's about a third mile paved oval, which would be really entertaining if you want to do some short track racing up north. There's a few other ones as well, but I think NASCAR will more than likely stick to the eastern side of Canada and not venture off into those western provinces, which they maybe could eventually, but it's a long travel way to go ahead and do that. So I think that they'll try to stick to the eastern side of Canada uh, for now. So we'll see what happens there, but I'm very excited if they do end up going to Canada, whether that be on a road course or on an oval, doesn't matter. I know that the people up in Canada will absolutely pack out this race. They've been wanting a race there forever. When the Xfinity Series was there, they came out in droves for that. There's no reason to think that they wouldn't do the same for the Cup Series, especially as NASCAR's popularity continues to rise. It's just finding the right circuit to be able to do that, getting everybody's passports in order, and hopefully you don't have a DUI because you're not getting in to Canada if we go up there. I can think of a number of people in the industry that are going to struggle with that aspect of it. Kyle Busch does have a gun charge in Mexico. Does that carry over to Canada? I'm not 100% sure on that one, but we're going to find out. So NASCAR President Steve Phelps does think that the series is going to Canada next year. I believe that will likely be a points paying race. Now, on the topic of Mexico, I don't have anything to change into that would be traditional wear in Mexico. So we're just sticking with the denim at this point. NASCAR does want to go to Mexico. There's been rumors of them moving the clash down to Mexico. I think that's what ultimately ends up happening here. There is, of course, some opportunities for them. They want to go to Mexico City. They want to go to Guadalajara. There is a great circuit outside of Guadalajara, uh, the Travalo International Day... 
Oh, I can't. I my my Spanish is not very good. I'm great at reading Spanish. I'm great at listening to Spanish. Not great at speaking Spanish. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that. But it's a three quarter mile tri oval racetrack, which I would absolutely love to see them. Think of Pocono, just um, the size of Richmond, essentially. Let's go there. Who cares? If they end up not going there and they want to go to Mexico City, there's, of course, a couple of opportunities for them to go to. The most famous one is, the most famous, of course, is the Autodrome Hermanos Rodriguez, which is where Formula One races at. It's where the Xfinity Series used to race at when they visited down there. They, of course, have added this new stadium section through the baseball stadium that is now defunct and has, you know, the road course running through it. Previously, when the Xfinity Series went there, they essentially ran that big parabolica, which was great. I absolutely love that aspect of it. Kind of wish that they still had that because the stadium section, while the atmosphere in the stadium is absolutely electric, it ruins the entire lap and it's not very good. Regardless, NASCAR going to Mexico, again, makes a ton of sense. There's going to be a lot of people there. It'll be sold out for sure, especially if Daniel Suarez is still in the series, which eh, he will probably be in some capacity. Maybe just not at Trackhouse. We'll have to wait and find out on that one. But Steve Phelps says that NASCAR is he said he'd be shocked if NASCAR does not go to both Canada and Mexico, which I think is a big change. And that's good for everybody involved. I get it. People don't want NASCAR to go international. It's not that international. Mexico City and Guadalajara are closer to Mooresville, North Carolina than going to Los Angeles or Sonoma. It'll be perfectly fine. You don't send them all that way. Again, it's closer than going to places in our own country. Then you have Bob Hawkers out here absolutely dunking on the haters who are like, the last time they went to Mexico, it was dangerous. Everyone hated it. Blah, 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 blah. As some rosy cheek spotter from South Carolina. I was all fired up about it. And then Bob's like, I had a great time. And that's the absolute mindset you should have. When you're going to a new location, don't hate it because there's not a TGI Fridays or a CVS on every corner for you to go get something or a Hooters for you to go have a beer at. Go experience and embrace the local culture. What's so bad about that? Get your passport together. Go down there and be happy about it. And then potentially the most interesting point that Steve Phelps made and a bit of a news that he dropped here is that NASCAR will be racing in Southern California in 2025. Of course, Fontana has been torn up and doesn't exist in the capacity that we once knew it as. And the short track at Fontana hasn't even begun construction. We don't think that they're going back to the LA Coliseum next year, but he says that NASCAR will be racing in Southern California in 2025. They will not be skipping a year. So what does that mean? It means that there's either a street race of some capacity coming, a temporary circuit being built somewhere that NASCAR has their eyes on because they've already proven that they can build a temporary circuit inside the Coliseum. Who's to say that they can't just build a temporary circuit in a field somewhere, in a parking lot somewhere, build some grandstands around it and have a race there? I absolutely think that that's 100% feasible. Maybe they're going to Irwindale, which will likely survive. It's a cockroach in an atomic war. It will always survive. Kern County is, of course, also still there. It's a little bit further out, but maybe they could make it work. Regardless, there's options. I don't think that they're going to race at Long Beach. Everybody's like, oh, they could just partner with IndyCar for the Long Beach Grand Prix. Listen, Ems is already there with IndyCar that weekend. You can't add NASCAR to the schedule. That would also have to get approved by the City Council of Long Beach. And honestly, I don't know if they want the entire NASCAR field showing up as well as IndyCar on the same weekend. That's too tight. You're not going to ever be able to get all of that racing done in one weekend. And why would IndyCar want to share one of their crown jewel weekends with NASCAR? It would obviously be overshadowed because it would be the first time NASCAR would go there. And the Long Beach Grand Prix doesn't need it. Anyways, or the Grand Prix of Long Beach, however they word that. I don't think they're going there. Yeah, you guys all love to race it on iRacing. It's fun. It looks like it'd be cool. It's just not happening. I think that they obviously will go somewhere else. Where remains to be seen, but I thought it was really interesting that Steve said that they will not be leaving that market in 2025. It's the second lar largest media market in the country. He also said it's the second largest market for NASCAR, which of course, and people again are going to come at me and say, how can it be the second largest market? Nobody shows up, blah, blah, blah. There's so many, this is a population thing. And everyone's like, oh, they only get 5% of the population. That's, we're just throwing out numbers here. Yeah, but that 5% is still larger than the people that are watching in Montana or Nebraska or wherever you want to go to. It's just the same thing when we look at political maps. You see a whole bunch of one color and everybody's like, I don't understand how this person didn't win. People vote, land doesn't vote. In this situation, people vote or people watch. Now I'm all confused. People watch. And it doesn't matter how many, there's just a lot of them. So a smaller amount of people watch, that's still small for that size, that city, this, that media market, but that's still bigger than your Louisville, Kentucky, or your Chattanooga, Tennessee, or wherever, pick a different place. So 
when it comes down to it, NASCAR needs to be in that market. And from the sounds of it, they will be back in that market next year. Steve also had some things to say about potential new OEM, saying that they're in discussions with some people. We know that they're in discussions with Honda. They also did host um, someone else at the Daytona 500. Not going to get into it because I saw, I didn't confirm, saw um, who I think I saw. We'll have to wait and see. Regardless, NASCAR is on the up and up. We'll see where they end up at in 2025, but I think what the schedule could be for next season is already really interesting. We probably won't see it until sometime into late summer, if not early fall, hopefully not as late as last year. And so we don't have to listen to everybody cry and complain about how it's going to be so hard to book hotels, blah, blah, blah. It seemed like everybody was pretty fine uh, for this year so far. So let me know in the comments, do you like NASCAR going to Mexico? Do you like them going to Canada? What do you think about Los Angeles? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.